Magnetic dipoles can be created by bar magnets and by current carrying loops. For a bar magnet, we saw that when we drew our magnetic field loops inside the bar magnet, we saw lines pointing from south to north. This is in fact the direction of the magnetic dipole vector mu, from south to north. For a current carrying loop, we actually have a right hand rule. If you curl your fingers in the direction of the current, you get the dipole moment vector. In this case, our counterclockwise current will correspond to a dipole moment pointing out of the page. So if I place a bar magnet into a big external magnetic field, the most stable orientation of this bar magnet would have mu correspond to the same direction as B. This would mean that the north and south poles of the bar magnet align with the opposite ends of the, st of the stable field, which is pretty cool. Now we can measure the energy of our magnetic dipole in the magnetic field as negative mu dotted with B. So when the two vectors point in the same direction, this will make the most negative term, which is the lowest possible energy. If I flip this, I end up with an angle of 180 degrees, and this term becomes positive. That's why we have a stable equilibrium and an unstable equilibrium. We'll see how this concept of energy in a magnetic field and magnetic dipole moment plays out when we talk about spin of particles as well as magnetic induction.